All right, guys, welcome back. We just got done changing that oil. It's nasty. God, I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't know. We changed it, and the uh, car was hardly ever driven. But for some reason, uh, I guess the carburetor was uh, leaking gas into the engine, and it just <laughs> had like a quart of uh, gas. <laughs> so we used the... Uh, the Rotella and a ZR1 Valvoline, and we got eight quarts in it, so and we put the STP in it. So the oil change is done, and we got the new Wix filter on there. You can see it number 51515 right there. Yeah, buddy, oil change is done. So she keeps looking up, you know. Today, she got a, a new hat, she got a new fuel filter, she got an oil change. The old girl's just, you know, getting better and better all the time, so. We haven't started it since we changed the oil, but it is nice. I mean, it is super clean now. Look at that. How clean it is. It is brand new. I don't even want to start it. <laughs> I don't want to start it, but I'm going to have to. Compared to what the oil was in it, and got some of the residue from that black oil that was in it. And we ended up filling uh, a five quart uh, container and a gallon. So we back, basically got about nine gallons out, or nine quarts out of it. We got one full, the other one about full. So eight quart system, nine quarts came out. <sighs> Not good, but we didn't hurt it, so we're good. We caught it before it got, you know, to where there's going to be a problem and beat all the bearings out of it. I didn't beat it, just spun the tire a little bit. I didn't hammer on it all this time. I think I've revved it a few times kind of hard over the past couple years. And that's not good for it. So, we'll get that fresh oil circulating through there and uh, get everything coated with a good uh, zinc, uh, you know, a great oil. Um, my Rotella had some zinc in it, some old stuff. Rotella used to have zinc in them. I don't think it has zinc in it anymore. You buy a new five gallon or five quart uh, container, a four quart container, but they don't have zinc in it anymore. The oil companies figured out a way to uh, save money and still make a fortune. And they took the zinc out of the oil. So when they did that, that saved them money. Well, the hot rodders, which I'm included in that, found out when they removed that zinc, all of a sudden camshafts and lifters were being ate up and race engines on the track. And they were brought back and found that the cams were bad. And they put new cams in them, new lifter, put them back on the track and did it again. And they figured it out. It was because of the oil they were using. The oil companies took the zinc out. So then they had to go to specified oil companies that specifically had zinc or high zinc to protect their camshafts and save their engines. So that's what they did. Of course, now a lot of these oil companies got on board now and realized, wow, there's a whole market just to sell you oil with zinc in it. <laughs> and they charge you more for it. So it's a racket. This whole automotive business is a racket from the parts to some repairs to shops to charging the arm and leg, to, you know, body shops, mechanical shops, you know. It's hard to find a reputable shop. I know one that's pretty fair, but it's really hard for your average, you know, Joe or your average uh, gal to go there because they think the women don't know nothing they're like oh yeah come here you're gonna need everything lady <laughs> and all you need was a set of brake pads so it's really hard to find a, a repair shop that's going to be honest with you you know guys and get guys and gals it's really really hard try to find somebody that's a friend that, that you can trust it's really you know i do all my own work you know once the blue blue moon it's like recently the uh uh, Roadmaster had an oil leak that I couldn't fix, and we took it to a reputable shop and had it fixed. And the price wasn't uh, wasn't horrible. I think it was a pretty decent price for getting that oil leak fixed, and it was pretty fair. So if I'd have took it somewhere else, it'd have been double or triple that. So I feel pretty good about that. We got that car fixed, and my son can use it. And he's out in a van right now again. Of course, he loves that van, his grandmother's van. He feels he wraps himself up in that thing, and he feels he's protected, which I understand, you know, I, I that was my mother, you know, 
I lost her, you know, just like he lost her. So, but we got the mock fixed and uh, got the the Roadmaster fixed, and uh, we just keep on just chucking along here, guys. Just keep fixing them. I got to take this to uh, my buddy Doug Hamilton to fix the lights in it. I did a tow for him back summer or so ago, and um, the payment was uh, fix my lights. <laughs> he gave me some gas money and fixed my lights, and that was the. Uh, that was the payment. I, I got gas money, but I never got my lights fixed. It's not his fault. I haven't brought it up there, so I'm going to have to schedule it. Take it up to see my buddy Doug Hamilton, get the lights fixed on it. So we're going into spring, and I may be using this thing a little bit more here and there. You never know. We may end up, uh, who knows, we may end up you know, taking a trip with it somewhere and picking up a car and bringing it back. So we need the lights fixed. So check out my friend's Axis Auto Parts. Some guy I want to go see to get a car. He's got a 69 LTD. I need a windshield out of it. Go up and see him, uh, his channel, Jamie Phillips Actions Auto Parts. See my buddy. He just did a cool video where he got his mama's car to uh, pull itself out. That was pretty cool. It was amazing. Front wheel drive pulled out a four wheel drive on a hillside in the mud. But check out my friends, Actions Auto Parts. Jamie Phillips Actions Auto Parts. And our buddy, Scott Speed Shop. And we'll see you in the next Beamer and Son Garage, everybody. Bye bye. Looking good with that air filter. Man, it's looking good. Oh, girl, ain't look so good. New fuel filter, new air filter, new oil, new new oil filter, new fuel pump, new radiator, new distributor, new battery. <laughs> oh God, <coughs> she's getting better all the time. Newer tires, rims, newer to it, anyways. And on the front and the back. Looks like that one needs some air. Yeah, I get my son out here with his little hand air gun and air these things up to 32. Looks like that one's low. They're used tires. And yeah, that one looks fine. That one looks low. Huh. I'll get him on it. See you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.